Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Scorpio for the week of July 31st through August 6th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel lately, as well as those who have given the videos they watched and liked a thumbs up. Thank you for doing that. All right. Feeling like there's a little bit of competition in your life. Now, whether this is in a job situation or a relationship situation. And for some of you, you're just overthinking something. You know, you're just all up in your head a little bit worried about whether you can or cannot deliver on something. But you're more than capable. And the strength card. Look at you. You know. This is, for some of you, that job that you've always wanted. You know, you're finally getting that pay raise, which takes you up a notch in life. You know, you're learning to step back a little bit and look at your prospects. You're willing to slow yourself down, take a little bit more control of your reactions and not overreact so quickly. You know, like really watch and hear what's being said and done before you say or do something back in return. And the Eight of Swords, there you are. Now this could you be you feeling like you're being held back in something. Now this could be a job or a relationship or maybe you're doing this to yourself. You're feeling like, you know, can I do this? Can't I do this? And you're so in that you're locking yourself up and you're not setting yourself free, which is not good for you. You know, it's better to face your fears and try than it is to just stay stuck and wonder. So you're going to do that for yourself this week. All right. The Ten of Swords. And that's okay because that only shows that you know what's happened. You know who's done it. And you're done with them. They can't undo this. You're not going to let them. You're not going to do anything in retaliation either. You're just letting it go. And that scenario with it. So that's good. You know, if you've been betrayed or stabbed in the back by people, places, or things that you know, you're just cutting them loose. And you will not turn around. Nor should you. And the six of rods. So there you are. You know, picking up the pieces, letting people know, you know, what you bring to the table. You're very capable. You're strong-willed. And when you decide to show yourself to the world, you do it with such panache. So you're moving forward for yourself. And the four of pentacles. Look at you. Solid foundation, good home, happiness, good jobs, money coming in. You know, you're starting to move yourself in the areas of your life that you wanted to. You're accomplishing things and you're starting to realize that, you know what, I can reward myself for doing this. And it doesn't always have to be, you know, going out for a three course dinner. It could be you just buying yourself that fancy cup of coffee, you know, that sort of thing. And you're quite content to do that because it makes you happy that you can do this for yourself. And the hair font. That's all right. So you have a mentor that you can trust somebody that you're that you look up to. You know, this could be aunt, uncle, could be your parents, could be a sibling, therapist, teacher, you know, but somebody that you trust. And you know that they have have lots of knowledge. They're courageous. They've been through things themselves. They're not just, you know, trying to fix everything to make everybody feel better. They'll tell you the facts and, you know, to the best of their knowledge, let you figure it out for yourself. But they're there just to listen. And for others of you, this could be you once you listen to them. You know, it helps you to clarify what you want to do for yourself. And for some of you, this could be, you know, taking a course, 
that you've always wanted to do, changing your course of your direction in life, that sort of thing. But you trust yourself this time to make the right decisions for yourself. And the two of swords, there you are, trying not to make any hasty movements or decisions, you know, so which unfortunately just sort of sticks you in the position that you're in and you're not happy about it. You know, you're facing your inabilities on some matters, but you're okay with it because once you face them, you know, you can set them free. You don't have to keep, you know, sitting there waiting for something, some decision or somebody to make this decision for you. You can make it for yourself quite capable of doing so. And the Empress. Yeah, there's abundance, fertility, and you know, a wealth of, of happiness and movement for better health, future. For some of you, this could be even an indication that you know, you're expecting a, a small child into your life. This could be an adoption as well as you having a baby yourself or somebody you know, you know. And if, you know, you don't want to have that little bundle of joy, you know, you may need to take precautions and steps to protect yourself. Others of you, this could be you getting a fur baby addition to the family as well. But it's something new in your life. And it could be a project as well, getting off the ground that you've always wanted to do. You know, it's you sitting there looking out and knowing that all the different steps that you have taken this far is not only on solid foundation and you have backing and it's starting to produce and go the way that you had envisioned it. And the two of pentacles. So yeah, you've been uh, looking at doing something for quite some while for yourself. And you've held yourself back because you weren't quite sure how it was going to go. So you sort of, you know, didn't want to make a move, you know. And to some people, you just look like you're, you know, playful, but you're not really interested in, in finalizing something. So you're shutting that part down because you're realizing that you can't continue to juggle things in your life forever. You have to make a choice so that you can, you know start taking the risks in the right direction and not always trying to please everybody else. And the chariot, look at you go. Yeah, you have come to a decision in your life. And if this is in a job or a relationship, you know, that hasn't been treating you right or going the right way, you know, you've come to a dead end with it and you realize the situation needs to stop. And you're okay with that because... It needed to happen. You know, you're not overthinking things. You've already chosen the path that you went on. You want to heal yourself and you're determined that, you know, you're moving forward for yourself in victory. And if that takes something that has to end, then you're willing to accept it in order to, you know, step forward and reach for that brass ring. All right. And the King of Wands. Yeah, you are motivated for this change. You have been thinking about this off and on for quite some time. And, but you've always, like I said, trying to keep a balancing act and everybody happy. But now you're just breathing and taking this time for yourself. You know, maybe you're even thinking of maybe taking a trip after this is all settled for yourself. Not a far one or a long one. Just something that makes you feel okay and this could be like a trip in your own area maybe there's you know very many sites around you that you've never seen for yourself and you want to go and have a look and you're just going to go go do it you know you're exercising your rights for your own decisions and the temptress so most definitely you know accepting others for who they are your circumstances how it's came out how it's played about you know, and when you do that, your health starts to return, your harmony in your in your body starts to return in your mind, and you're just feeling more at peace and at ease, and that you know that you've made the right decisions going forward. You know, you're working no longer at a crossroads in your life. You don't need to compromise all the time. You're at the bottom line, and you're starting over. All right, I'm 
going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. But your cards are very positive. You're making some decisions this week, but you also know that it needed to be. You need to make these decisions, and you've already made them. Now you're just going to finalize them. All right. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you. You deserve these changes. All right. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Remember to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again next week. Till then, goodbye.